Once upon a time, a young girl named Alice journeyed into the dark forest, bound for her grandmother's house with a basket of freshly baked bread. As she walked through the twisted trees and overgrown vines, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her. Suddenly, a loud rustling in the bushes made Alice stop in her tracks. She nervously clutched her basket of bread and waited, heart pounding in her chest. Out from behind a tree stepped a friendly-looking bear. The bear introduced himself as Benny and explained that he lived in the forest with his family. He was out collecting berries when he heard Alice walking by. The two struck up a conversation and Alice learned all about the different animals that lived in the forest. As they continued on their journey, Alice and Benny encountered all kinds of creatures, from mischievous squirrels to wise old elves. See that little squirrel over there? Benny pointed with his paw. She's always getting into mischief. But she's harmless. Just likes to play around. Alice laughed. She reminds me of my little brother. He's always getting into trouble too. Benny continued. And over there is a family of deer. They are very skittish and usually keep to themselves. But if they think you're a friend, they might come out to say hello. Alice smiled, admiring the grace of the deer as they bounded away. They're so beautiful. Benny nodded. And up in the trees, you'll find the wise old owls. They are very knowledgeable and can give you good advice if you need it. Alice looked up and saw two large owls perched on a branch. They look so regal and wise. As they approached the grandmother's house, they heard a loud howling in the distance. Benny explained that it was the big bad wolf, who had been terrorizing the forest for weeks. Alice knew she had to be careful and protect her basket of bread, but Benny had a plan. Together, they gathered all the forest animals and organized a surprise attack on the wolf. In the end, the wolf was chased away and Alice was able to safely deliver her basket of bread to her grandmother's house. She hugged Benny goodbye and thanked him for being such a good friend and guide through the forest. From that day on, Alice knew that the forest was not so scary after all, as long as she had good friends to journey with her. Mickey and Sammy Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there lived a tiny little mouse named Mickey. He was a friendly mouse, but he had no friends in the forest because all the other animals were bigger and faster than him, and he was always afraid of getting hurt. One day, Mickey met a friendly squirrel named Sammy, who didn't seem to mind Mickey's small size. They quickly became best friends, and Sammy would often show Mickey how to climb trees and gather nuts. Mickey and Sammy were sitting under a tree, munching on some nuts and chatting away when Mickey suddenly said, You know Sammy, I wish I could climb trees like you do. Sammy chuckled. Oh Mickey, don't worry about it. You're just as talented in your own way. Mickey looked skeptical. What do you mean? Well, you're the fastest mouse I've ever seen. Sammy exclaimed. And you can squeeze into the tiniest of spaces. I bet I couldn't even fit into half the places you can. Mickey grinned. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I still wish I could climb trees. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew and a nut fell from the tree above, hitting Sammy on the head. Ouch! Sammy yelped. Mickey laughed. Looks like you need to work on your dodging skills too. 
Sammy rubbed his head and chuckled. Yeah, I guess so. But hey, at least I can climb trees and you can't. Mickey smiled. That's true, but at least I can run circles around you. The two friends laughed and continued munching on their nuts, enjoying each other's company and playfully teasing one another. As the months passed, Mickey and Sammy grew closer and closer. They shared many happy moments together, laughing and playing in the sun. One sunny day, Mickey and Sammy were wandering through the forest when they stumbled upon a beautiful meadow filled with wildflowers. Excited to explore, they scampered through the tall grass, sniffing the sweet fragrances and chasing butterflies. As they reached the center of the meadow, they noticed a small brook babbling along its way. Without hesitation, Sammy ran towards the water and began to splash around, while Mickey watched from the side, hesitant to get his feet wet. But Sammy was determined to have his friend join in on the fun. He splashed water towards Mickey, getting him soaked from head to toe. At first, Mickey was annoyed, but soon he couldn't help but laugh at Sammy's playful antics. Before long, the two were fully immersed in the water, splashing and chasing each other with glee. As they frolicked in the cool stream, the sun shone down upon them, casting a warm glow across the meadow. For that moment, Mickey and Sammy were completely carefree, and their friendship was stronger than ever. However, one day, Mickey suddenly fell ill. Sammy was heartbroken to see his friend in such pain, and he tried to help Mickey in every way he could. But despite all their efforts, Mickey passed away. Sammy was devastated by the loss of his friend, and he didn't know how to cope with his grief. But then, he remembered all the happy moments they had shared together, and he realized that even though Mickey was gone, their friendship would live on in his memories forever. And so, Sammy continued to gather nuts and climb trees, but he did so with a heavy heart, missing his dear friend Mickey. He knew that he would never forget him, and that their friendship had been a special gift that would always be a part of him. Saying goodbye. Sophie and her best friend Emma had been inseparable since they were toddlers. They did everything together, from playing dress-up to exploring the woods behind their houses. They even had a secret handshake that they made up themselves. But now, Sophie's family was moving to a new city, hundreds of miles away. Sophie was excited about the new adventure, but she was also heartbroken about leaving Emma behind. On the day of the move, Sophie and Emma spent the whole day together. They played all their favorite games and made a scrapbook of all their memories together. As the sun began to set, Sophie knew it was time to say goodbye. She and Emma walked hand in hand to the edge of the woods where they had made a special spot just for them. Sophie looked at Emma with tears in her eyes. I don't want to leave you. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. Emma hugged her tightly. I know, Soph. But we'll always be best friends, no matter where we are. And we can still call and text and video chat all the time. Sophie nodded. I know. But it won't be the same. Emma smiled. No, it won't. But we'll always have our memories, and we'll make new ones too. Sophie took a deep breath and smiled back. You're right. I'm going to miss you so much, but I'm also excited about all the new adventures we'll have, even if they're apart. 
Emma hugged her again. I'm excited for you too, Sof. And I know we'll always be there for each other, no matter what. Sophie wiped away her tears and took Emma's hand one last time. They stood there in silence, watching the sun dip below the horizon until it was time for Sophie to go. As Sophie walked away, she looked back and waved to Emma. Emma waved back with a smile on her face and a tear in her eye. Sophie knew that even though they were saying goodbye, they would always be best friends.